In 2000, the European Institute for Underwater Archaeology uncovered an ancient city submerged off the Egyptian coast, which had lain beneath the waves for over a millennium. Since then, divers have unearthed various relics, including intriguing shipwrecks. However, a unique find emerged in March 2019, revealing the shipwreck that had been previously described only by an ancient historian, prompting skepticism. Archaeologists in Egypt have now revealed a shipwreck that could potentially solve a 2,500-year-old mystery. Early civilizations achieved remarkable feats despite limited resources and knowledge. Ancient Egyptians and Greeks, renowned for monumental structures and innovations, developed advanced dental practices to combat sand-contaminated food. They displayed intricate knowledge of anatomy, utilized honey for its antibacterial properties, and shared successful irrigation methods. Greek philosophers, like Pythagoras, sought wisdom in Egypt, integrating its mathematical prowess into diverse disciplines. Alexander the Great's influence introduced Hellenic culture to Egypt through the establishment of Alexandria, which became the Egyptian capital while retaining Greek language and customs. The Ptolemaic dynasty, the final independent rulers of Egypt, remained culturally Greek despite their Egyptian locale. These civilizations, closely intertwined, fostered progress, innovation, and cultural exchange, shaping the ancient world's legacy and leaving a lasting impact on humanity's development. While residing and governing Egypt, trade between Egypt and Greece commenced around 685 to 525 BC. Ancient Greeks drew inspiration from their counterparts in the Nile Delta and expanded on these concepts. Their rational approach supplanted supernatural explanations, establishing the foundation that nature is governed by laws. Observational-based science gained prominence, evolving into deductive reasoning over time. Greek mathematics, built upon Egyptian foundations, progressed with contributions from Babylonian astronomy after Alexander the Great's conquests. Greek thinkers excelled in various domains, including astronomy, mathematics, and even an early theory of evolution. Renowned figures like Pythagoras developed mathematical concepts, while Aristotle pioneered logic and deductive reasoning, a legacy that endured for millennia. Plato's influence was similarly long-lasting. Greeks also pioneered historical study, with Herodotus notably shaping the concept of the historian. Herodotus, often debated, is hailed as the father of history by Cicero, but criticized by some as the father of lies. Born around 484 BC in Turkey, Herodotus received a privileged education due to his family's wealth. His extensive travels through Europe, Asia, and Africa, funded by his means, provided firsthand accounts of battles and everyday life. Despite some controversy, Herodotus's detailed writings span a wide range of topics, offering insights into major historical events, like the Battle of Marathon. Herodotus, a notable figure, documented the seven wonders of the ancient world and historical accounts. However, he occasionally presented other stories as his own and engaged in speculation. His depiction of Babylon's walls, with acclaimed 100 gates, has drawn criticism due to archaeological evidence revealing only eight gates. It suggested that Herodotus might not have personally visited Babylon and might have embellished his narrative to mirror Homer's portrayal of Thebes, aligning with his admiration for the Greek poet. Unlike some contemporaries, Herodotus didn't attribute divine origin to his writings. His engaging narratives and compelling characters in his book, Histories Captivate Readers, possibly stemming from his penchant for storytelling. He held a self-assured disposition, less concerned with others' opinions. Herodotus likely passed away between 425 and 413 BC, possibly in Athens. One debated claim of Herodotus was encountering giant ants in Persia, scattering gold dust when building mounds. Though met with skepticism, Evidence emerged in the 1980s from French explorer Michel Pissel, suggesting truth in the tale. In Persian, the word for mountain ant is akin to marmot, a fox-sized creature in the Himalayas known to disperse gold dust, 
hinting at potential translation misconceptions. Herodotus' writings have sparked debates, including a claim from his book, Histories. He recounts encountering an unusual boat known as a Beris on the Nile in 5th century BC Egypt. This account lacked evidence for centuries, leading some to dismiss it as another of his imaginative tales. After almost 2,500 years, the submerged city of Phanis Heracleion has emerged as potential proof, offering a definitive answer. Phanis Heracleion, once described by both Herodotus and later by Strabo, was a city located at the mouth of the Nile's canopic branch. It lay west of the city of Canopus on the Nile Delta. The sunken city's remains were first spotted in 1933 by a British Air Force commander, but it wasn't until 2000 that the European Institute for Underwater Archaeology, IEASM, initiated excavations. Initially aimed at locating sunken French ships from the late 1700s, the focus shifted to uncovering the ancient city. Divers exploring the submerged ruins in the early 2000s discovered a fragment of an ancient statue depicting Hebe, the god of the Nile's fertility and ruler of the river. This giant figure once stood guarding the port of Phanis Heracleion. The city's excavation has shed light on Herodotus's account of Beris ships and Phanis Heracleion's existence, providing tangible evidence that supports his writings. The divers continued their investigation uncovering more statues, jewelry, pottery, and relics from the lost city. Information about Faunus Heracleion was scarce until its rediscovery. Herodotus did provide some details, mentioning a grand temple that marked the spot where the mythical hero Hercules first arrived in Egypt. Faunus Heracleion predates Alexandria, established in 331 BC. The city once served as a vital port for trade between Greece and Egypt, its name combining Egyptian and Greek elements. Similar to modern Venice, it was intersected by canals. Tragedy befell Faunus Heracleion between the 2nd century BC and the 8th century AD, facing earthquakes, tsunamis, and subsidence. Eventually, the entire city sank into the Mediterranean. It remained hidden until 2000, when French archaeologist Frank Gaudio led the EASAM expedition near Alexandria. The excavation, conducted around 33 feet underwater, involved using vacuum-like devices to clear sand and silt from the ruins. The Egyptian Supreme Council of Antiquities supported Frank Gaudio's team in their underwater excavation of Faunus Heracleion. This endeavor clarified the city's dual names, Faunus and Heracleion. As one place with both Egyptian and Greek origins, the latter linked to Hercules. Herodotus's mention of ships crafted from acacia resembling the Corinian lotus, with planks laid like bricks and papyrus seam seams, found confirmation in the discovery of Ship 17. This vessel, about 92 feet long, had a unique design with internal ribs and pegs securing the planks, differing from ships using mortise and tenon joints. Ship 17's form closely matched Herodotus's description, potentially constructed where he observed Beris ships being built. Herodotus also noted door-shaped crates with reed mats on each ship, balanced by stones for navigation. Beris ships were crucial for transporting commodities along the Nile and exporting goods globally. Ship 17's discovery is so significant that Alexander Belov, an archaeologist, authored a book exploring its construction and connection to Herodotus' accounts. This revelation enhances our knowledge of ancient Egyptian maritime history. For those intrigued by this captivating topic, further exploration is encouraged, along with liking and subscribing for more insightful content. Subscribe and press the bell icon for regular updates.